Shalom. I want to first start off giving our praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, double honor to our apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect, starting with the 144,000, as well as the rest of the elect of the children of Israel. Okay? This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And I want to get into Psalms, the 60th chapter, verses 1 through, um, through 5. Right, it reads, O Yahweh, thou hast cast us off, thou hast scattered us, thou hast been displeased. Right, because as a whole, the nation of Israel, we went off from uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, from keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, we, as a nation, we are committed um, laws worthy, I mean, we broke laws all right, punishable by debt. Okay. And uh, if you read Deuteronomy 28 and 64, it tells us. Let's get that real quick. I'll just read the scripture. Deuteronomy 28, 64. It says. Now, just it tells. Let's go. Let's go up first. Let's read verse verse fifteen, Deuteronomy twenty eight and fifteen. It says, "But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all His commandments and His statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee." And obviously, we we went off. We we um, didn't observe all the commandments. Okay, we broke we broke the commandments. All right, and this is one of the curses that we would be scattered. Okay. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I hadn't read it yet. Excuse me. But yeah, that is one of the curses that we're going to be scattered around the four corners of the earth. Let's read it real quick. Deuteronomy 28, 64 says, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, not some people, not a, some people on this side of the world. It says all people. That means the nation of Israel scattered amongst all the nations on this planet earth, on this planet earth. It says, from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So we're going to go back to Psalm 60. And verse um, 1. And bring that out again. So this scattering that happened. Scattering of the children of Israel. We were uprooted out of the land of Israel. And scattered amongst the nations as a, a punishment. A curse for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. It says. Thou has been displeased. And that's where the displeasure come in at. Um, us going off, committing wicked acts, spitting in the most high face. It says it's uh, really like if a man were to come in his house and catch another man just going to town on his wife, and the wife uh, uh look up. I mean, the man's wife. Look, looks at him and says, oh, nah, fuck him. You know, not ashamed. Oh, I've been caught in the act. 
you know, but caught in the very act and, and, um, and completely blow off the fact that, uh, that she's been busted and continues, you know, committing the act of, uh, adultery. So this is the same with the children of Israel, what the children of Israel have done in the eyes of the Most High, before the eyes of the Most High. That's why the scriptures say in Jeremiah 5 and 7, when I have fed them to the full, giving them everything, talking about us, the children of Israel, they then went and committed um, adultery, or they assembled, assembled, assembled themselves by troops in the harlot houses. Now, the haunted houses are these um, modern day churches, okay, that we know. These modern day churches that, uh, these modern day churches, they're really not churches, they're haunted houses, okay? And it's really a place where you go, for Israelites anyway, you go knowingly or un well, really this unknowingly. They don't know what the hell is going on, but they're going and they're unknowingly committing uh, spiritual adultery. Now, the pastors, on the other hand, they know that they're feeding the people a lot of bullshit, but they're getting paid. Yeah, the, the, the harlot houses is equivalent to what we read in, or we just read Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Worshiping other gods, even wood and um, even wood and stone. That wood and stone is going into these haunted houses because they made out of wood and a stone, which people to be, which people believe to be churches. The churches is the camps that set up all across the four corners of the earth, teaching. Okay, so back to the back to the Psalm 60, it says, Thou hast been displeased, O turn thyself to us again. And right now we in the we in that time where the most high has turned on to us again. He scattered us, but now he's uh through the spirit he's gathering us. Okay, he's gathering the nation of Israel back together. But starting with the elect, he's not get, gathering the whole nation back. He's getting the elect together for this gathering. Right, so this um, gathering that's taking place is happening because of the truth going out by way of preaching. The prophets preaching the word, and that's what's uh, gathering the elect and the elect are being gathered together first you know through this knowledge so that we can uh ultimately be delivered let's now let's read this i got a, a quick precept out of baruch five and uh five it says arise O jerusalem stand on high and look about toward the east and behold, thy children gathered from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the remembrance of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's what's happening right now. Okay? Great gathering is happening. Okay? By the word. This word is drawing in, is the, um, the net that's being cast out, that's uh, drawing in the hopeful elect members. Okay, and then them, our minds have been stirred up. Our pure minds have been stirred up by way of remembrance. Okay, we once knew these, knew these, knew these, uh, knew this truth. Because whoever the elect is had to had this truth. Okay, from the uh, from the beginning. Or before, should I say, before the foundation of the earth was uh was set. I 
now we're gonna go back go back to Psalm 60 we're gonna keep reading Psalm 60 and um, 2 it says thou hast made the earth to tremble thou hast broken it heal the breaches thereof for it shake it thou hast showed thy people hard things yeah the most high put us really put us in hardcore captivities you know and that's what we experienced hell that's the hell right there yeah or hell just means um the grave all right and that hardcore the most i put us in hardcore slavery then the hardest one was um under esau which is the so-called white man he really to this very day has done a is has done and is doing a number on us okay it says thou has made the earth to tremble thou has broken it heal the breaches thereof for it shake it thou has showed thy people hard things thou has made us to drink the wine of astonishment I want to see what we what they have for this word uh astonishment all right so this word goes back to um and where is it oh strong's h eight six five three and the hebrew word is thara'ila thara'ila and it's let's see what it got it says reeling, staggering, trembling, astonished, astonishment. And if you look at, um, let's do something real quick. Let's do this. Let's get a, a quick uh, Google definition. Great surprise. So for the word astonishment, this is just a loose definition from Google. Great surprise. And then let's see if they have. We can just stay right there. I don't got to. We can go here to the Merriam, Merriam Webster Dictionary online. It says. A feeling of great surprise and wonder, a state of being uh, astonished, a cause of amazement or wonder. Now, let's go back to the scripture. Yeah, right here it says, Thou has made us to drink the wine of astonishment, because look at us. By uh, um, us going off and the most high putting us in captivity. All right. We were um, especially under Esau. You know, we were in doc. We are we are indoctrinated as a whole outside of the uh, the remnant that has been awakened to this truth. But we were under that spell at one time, the spell of this man's indoctrination. Which will have you bugged out. So if you look at. Not only bugged out, but looking bugged out. And if you look at us, Israel, that's why Hebrew, not Hebrews, uh, Hosea 8 and 8 says that. Um, let's bring that out real quick. It says Israel is swallowed up. Now shall they be amongst among the gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure because jake is wild the way jake act the scriptures talk about jake being uh as a as a wild bull in a net we all in the in, around the, this planet earth especially really here in babylon the great um acting crazy and foolish looking foolish the way we dress in the, the the haircuts that why women would weave in their hair and 
uh, uh, fake eyelashes with makeup painted all over their face, dressed like dressed like hookers. The men, a lot of the young men sagging they sagging their pants off their ass. Different color hair. Dreadlocks. And killing each other. Tearing up and tear up their community. And the list goes on of just the, 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 the negative uh behavior. We got the obesity problem within our, our nation. Everybody's fat, not a shape as a whole. You know? So we go back to the verse. It says, or the verses. It says, Thou has, this is in a Psalm 60 and 4. It says, Thou has given a banner to them that fear thee. Because ultimately, Though the Most High did this, like I've been saying, according to the scriptures, there's a remnant, you know, that would uh, be gathered and would, you know, come to this, this truth, come into this truth, all right, for the, for the reason to be saved. It says, Thou hast given a banner to them that fear thee, that it may be displayed because of the truth. You see that? And ultimately this banner, this banner is this is the truth, is the is the Bible, and we bringing out the true understanding of this Bible. Okay. And just like it says in uh, was that Isaiah 13, lift ye up a banner upon the the uh, mountains, right? So this is us lifting up, a, a, us teaching, right? Going out and teaching on the highways and byways. That's lifting up a banner because of this. We have the truth. You see? And that truth is what's been gathering the hopeful elect. Okay? It says... In uh, Psalm 60 and 5, that they beloved may be delivered. You see? That we may be delivered. That's why this is a beautiful uh, psalm. And the, uh, the whole uh, psalm is, is beautiful. But this, um, I just want to read the first five verses. Okay? The Most High punished us for going off. Now he's recovering a remnant, the elect. Through this truth for the sake of being delivered and setting up a righteous kingdom on this planet earth okay all nations will learn the right way i'm gonna end the video right there uh, lord willing it was edifying and until the next one i say shalom